Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a special message for you. We have a 7th of July and every time we have that uh, synchronicity between two numbers in the month, I give you a special message which is related to those numbers and today we have 7-7. Seven, seven which is in numerology called a master number named cosmic consciousness. So this is the topic of today's video. And when it comes to cosmic consciousness, it represents like the brain of all things operating in perfect harmony. And it has two reminders. The first one is perfect union of logic and metaphysical truths to create complete balance in all aspects. And the second reminder is that pure and clean thought will create pure and clean manifestations. So it is truly important to understand these two reminders because firstly, perfect union of logic and metaphysical truths will create complete balance in all aspects. We need to ask ourselves how well we understand certain philosophies we are uh, following to. It may be something related to spirituality, it may be something related to improving your uh, well-being or experiencing more harmony in your life, because truly when we create a logical understanding out of something philosophical, it's much easier to put things into action, right? It's like action or acting out of those different philosophies will become something natural. Because we're always doing something which is the most familiar to us. And when we ask ourselves how our lives are going right now, they're going exactly the way which is the most familiar to us. And if you don't like certain aspects of your life, well, you need to uh, become more familiar with who you want to become. You need to see who your future self is, who your future self is and, and how to get there. And in order to understand who your future self is, means to create your future self. That's how will you understand your future self, to create your future self. So it always gives all power back to you because we get to the point where we recognize, well, I am actually creating who I will become. And that's where we place less focus to the outside sources and more focus to our inner source of all the intelligence of all the inspiration and all the the motivation and then i also mentioned the second reminder pure and clean thought will create pure and clean manifestation this is so important because if we ask ourselves how pure our mind is right now how how sharp our mind is and then we wonder about the words we're using on a daily basis, how pure those words are. Because we truly don't need much words to, to explain something or to say something. But often we talk about so many different things. But truly ask yourself how pure your mind is. Could you purify your mind so you could think more beneficial thoughts, healthier thoughts, empowering thoughts, so you could empower yourself. Because often we don't need to understand the whole process of how healing is happening, how manifestation is happening, how you will reach your goals, how you will become that version you want to be. We don't need to understand the process. The, the life will take care of it. What we need to understand is that practical way. What can I do right now to get closer to where I want to be? You need to understand clear and precise idea or you need to have that clear intention about what you want, where you see yourself, who you want to become so you can focus there so we can feel the energy of that potential future. Because it truly really is about purification of our minds. And in yesterday's video, I mentioned that um, we need to sharpen our minds. We need to truly strengthen our minds with clarity. 
getting clear on what we want. And for many people, it may be a, a truly hard thing to do because, you know, we are bombarded with so many different information on moment by moment basis. And to gain greater clarity, we truly need to sense what is important to us. We need to sense what feels the most natural to us. Because it doesn't matter where you are right now. It doesn't matter how you feel right now. There's something within you which is always kind of navigating you towards what feels the most natural to you. But often we like to distract ourselves with different thing things, different information and different pleasures. So, my friends, it's about harmony. It's all about harmony. When you place yourself into a greater harmony between your consciousness and your body's instinct, you will experience something we call an intuitive guidance. You will experience an energy which is empowering us. Doesn't matter what is happening outside of us, we experience that energy which is empowering us. So the question is how to get into that harmony between our consciousness and our body's instinct. So we firstly, we think about our bodies, like um, our bodies are like animals, right? And our consciousness empowers our bodies to act differently than most other animals. So it's because of our awareness, our consciousness, that makes us unique, that uh, makes us creative, that makes us um, self-aware. And in order to create harmony between our consciousness and body's instinct, we need to feel safe, we need to we need to love ourselves, we need to be kind to ourselves, we need to take care of ourselves, like self-care or mindfulness, uh, meditation, uh, truly doing something you love to do so you create that greater relationship with yourself. And then you start observing how you're behaving, how you're reacting, how you're responding, how you're thinking, how you're talking. And you recognize, is that truly in alignment with me? Is that truly in alignment with who I want to become? See who you want to be. You need to be aware who you are becoming, who you want to become. Because otherwise, your environment will shape you. Your environment will make you the way that your environment wants you to be. So we truly need to be aware, are we here to shape our environment or our environment will shape us? And, you know, again, we give power back to us because we start wondering, well, could I, could I improve something in my life? Could I improve something in my environment? Could I be a greater ex example in the environment? Could I uplift something? Could I bring more authentic energy to it? Could I bring more joy to it? Could I bring more happiness to it? Could I bring something new to this world? Because, you know, if the universe has two intentions, one is to create and the second one is to learn. Let's see how well we are doing with those intentions, because we are nothing else but the universe experiencing itself through us. And with those two intentions, how well we are learning from our experiences, and how well we are conscious about what we are creating. Again, <laughs> all the power comes back to us, but we start wondering, well, am I truly conscious? when it comes to projecting my thoughts, when it comes to my behaviors, am I truly conscious about it? Am I conscious about how I feel most of the time? And how well I'm, am I responding to, to how I feel? Could I treat myself differently? Could I nurture myself uh, better? Could I take 
more care for myself. Because, you know, right now, right at this time, we are living in a world where, like, everything we need is accessible to us. Like, almost everything we need. And some people say, well, I don't have the right amount of money. It's about knowledge, my friends. It's about knowledge. We have all the knowledge right now we need. If we want to become healthier, well, we can read some books and we can learn what we need to know. We, we have people from, who, like, from, from which we can learn so much. You open the internet and you can learn so much from many different people. So we have everything we need. The question is how well we know how to use it. Again, the power is within us. It's not that something outside of us is destroying our lives or controlling our lives, even though it feels like that sometimes. It's in our power. And, and it's the question of our awareness, how well we are aware that, you know, that cosmic consciousness is within all of us. But every time we focus on something outside of us, we may lose that sense. We may lose that, that all the power is within us. So we truly really need to, to pay attention to what is that version of ourselves we want to become so we can start shaping our lives the way we want to experience our lives. And a great question is truly, who you want to be? And then trust the energy of your future self because every time we start wondering who we want to become this is more powerful question than than we think it is who we want to become we start thinking creatively you know that creative part of our brain starts um, becoming more active and we start experiencing different thoughts like I want to, to feel more alive like I want to feel more creative I want to leave behind my fears, which are kind of limiting my life's experiences. I want to accept more, more, more of myself. I want to become more loving to the people I, lo I, <laughs> I know in my life. I want to, you know, feel more empowered. I want to feel more natural. And, you know, when we start shaping ourselves that way we start experiencing ideas what can we do and sometimes it may be unpleasant process because we'll start thinking well i need to let go of a certain thing which maybe provides us pleasure or a certain habit which provides us certain comfort and you know our future self will challenge us we'll say well are you willing to do that are you willing to do that and the question is how much it is important to you to become who you want to be. Because that's where people get on a journey of self-creation. That's the greatest self-discovery is that we create ourselves the way we want to create ourselves. When we go from a victimized state to a state of the creator, and that's where you experience how the universe feels like when it is in its own power. And it is a truly, truly powerful discovery. And I want to encourage you to tap into that part of you, which is a, a state of the creator. Tap into that part of you, which is a creative state. And... What can you do to become who you want to be? What can you do? What is right now in your reality, right at this moment, present that you can use to become who you want to be? Because often we think like we are lacking this and we are lacking that and those people don't support us and we don't have the right amount of money, we don't have the right amount of courage 
and trust and whatever. But think about what you already have. You have a pencil, you have a piece of paper, you can write down, for example, what makes you unique to see that you are actually more amazing than most often you think that you are. What are three simple ways you could love yourself more? What are three simple ways you could um, show people around you that you love them? To see how much or how often you're just not doing that. Truly, what aspects of yourself need you need to show more love? Start asking those questions because you will recognize that there's so much you can do right now and suddenly you will feel better and suddenly every time when we feel better we start thinking greater thoughts and that's where we start to feel inspired to take greater actions and all actions creates create reactions, right? And that's where you will start experiencing new empowering results which will give you more reasons why to do that work. And that's where your future self is celebrating you because you're walking the path which is truly meant for you. Now you're walking your path of evolution. And that is truly, to me, it is truly empowering. Because there are so many reasons to, like, to not do that work. So many reasons. So many people will say to you why you shouldn't do that or why you can't do it. But only you can tell to yourself why you should do it and why you can do it. Because nobody can truly help you to become who you want to be. Except you. And it is, you know, it is an act of cosmic consciousness to get into that state where you recognize that you are cosmic. And that your consciousness is more powerful than anything outside of you. So do not focus on something which you think that is controlling you. But rather focus on yourself and see how could you affect on the things outside of you. And see what, what wonders can you create. Because truly, we are living in the times where nothing is more important than self-mastery. Nothing is more important than gaining power over your mind, than gaining power over your emotional intelligence. And putting things into motion, creating that hard-brain coherence, creating that wonderful coherence in your body between your consciousness and your body's instincts so you can work as one. So when you decide something, your body will respond to it and you will walk as it's already present. So, of course, you need to provide your body what it needs, like a a great nutrition, a feeling of being safe through meditation and walks in nature, because our bodies are nature. We need to to get them into nature here and there so you can remind yourself who you are. Consciousness is cosmic and our physical bodies are bodies here from Earth, from nature. So that's the great balance we are talking about, my friends. Once you put things in that perfect balance, you will see that everything is possible and everything is in alignment for you. So things are exactly how they need to be in order to teach you what you need to be taught. Expect nothing but greatness to come out of what you're doing and everything will always work for you. So my friends, this is it for today. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day and I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting. Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop. You're all truly appreciated. Till next time, one love.